Welcome back to the Gibbs Spotlight. I'm Camille Germany, assistant to the directors at the Gibbs College of Architecture. Talking with me today is Nagar Martin. Nagar is a new assistant professor this fall in interior design. She holds a PhD from the Building Science and Interior Design Program at Eastern Michigan University, and her research focus is on the responsive facade system and its impacts. Hi, Nagar. I'm so glad you could join me today. Hi, Camille. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, of course. Could you talk a little bit about your journey to where you are today from when you decided to pursue an interior design degree to finding this assistant professorship here at the Gibbs College of Architecture and why you're excited to join the college? Sure. Uh, you know, as you know, uh, interior designers uh, pay attention to details and they know how to mix, you know, different details to create a delightful, comfortable and safe environment. When I was an uh, undergraduate student in any design studio that I had, I was extremely interested in creating and combining different details. I imagined the interior of every design space uh, and I try to draw different, you know, interior perspectives to understand shape and taste of interior spaces from uh, various point of views. I, I can say this is the beginning of my interest in interior architecture. And, you know, uh, due to my passion about studying uh, symbolism and exploring hidden meaning in contemporary architecture, I followed the latest architecture project or even events, I mean, any events related to monuments and memorial architecture. Uh, first, I think first I became interested in Gibbs College of Architecture when a symposium of terror, trauma, and memory held at the uh, University of Oklahoma a few years ago. And at that time, I was a graduate student working on uh, my master thesis, which was about syntactic and semantic aspects of monumental and memorial architecture. And I just wish to be a presenter in this symposium and share my research with various experts in this field. But at that time, you know, honestly, I never imagined one day I will join to Gibbs College of Architecture as an assistant professor. And, you know, uh, existing different division. Uh, at Gibbs College of Architecture with high research and teaching activities at uh, R1 University, like University of Oklahoma, interested me the most. And uh, since I believe in research as a systematic inquiry directed from interdisciplinary collaboration between different you know, disciplines, for sure being at Gibbs College of Architecture can provide me an opportunity for, you know, integrating ideas and methods and sharing tools and thinking critically uh, to develop new knowledge and products and also solve challenging practical problems in the field of interior design. I'd also love to hear about one or two projects that you're either currently working on or have recently completed. After joining a uh, two PhD program at College of Engineering and Technology at Eastern Michigan University, I had this chance to work in the interdisciplinary environment and I was asked to define uh, my uh, main PhD project in the middle of triangle of technology, interior design and building science. And among different uh, high-tech building elements, uh, for last five years, I have been focused on responsive facade systems and its impact on interior spaces. As a high-performance uh, building system, responsive facade is capable of interacting with natural environment, which provide maximum comfort, health, and well-being for occupants inside the building. 
So I was carrying out research in uh, user visual comfort provided by responsive facades. And this research project required to address a variety of issues in technology, including the intersection of various fields such as control technology, mathematical modeling, daylight design, as well as deploying a state of art optimization and methods in data analytics. And also in 2019, as a lead GA who is fascinated by design and research on uh, sustainable habitations, as a student team leader under supervision of my PhD advisor, Professor Shiming Shu, put together a sustainable design team at Eastern Michigan University, and we participate in 2019 Solar Decathlon Design Competition held annually by Department of Energy. And as a student team leader of this project, I have used various opportunities available to grow my leadership skills. As I communicated effectively with the team members and professional and industry you know, communities. And also, I have been involved in uh, conducting the preparation process for grant applications. And my excellent performance and also my passion for designing and conducting research lead me to be invited as a co-leader of a sustainable grant application that has been accepted by Michigan Energy Office. And due to implementing advanced technology in the design of single Single family house, our team at EMU received a Rocky Star Rocky Award at that competition. And, you know, as my first leadership experience, it brought me a sense of proud. <laughs> sure, that's awesome. Congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> so, what's your favorite thing about the career path you chose? And how does your research and work advance the field and development of future interior designers? I do love being in academia, not only because of research activity, but also because of uh, identifying outstanding students and mentoring next generation of designer and researcher from different, you know, cultures and from different nations with different abilities who will form our future habitations. So I think the pleasant of being in academia is educating students and inspiring from them, for sure. And this means to have indirect influence in building future world. And all of these things make me feel proud. And, you know, uh, the complicity of problems that interior design disciplines seek to answer in the contemporary world creates a need to expand the existing, you know, boundaries of uh, knowledge within the discipline. Using an interdisciplinary vision, I will continue to research the implementation of advanced technology in order to enhance the quality of life in interior spaces. And my goal is to continue producing original and creative work, creating platforms to separate knowledge and spread knowledge. Uh, the complicity of problems that interior design discipline seek to answer in the contemporary world creates a need to expand the existing boundaries of knowledge within the discipline. And using an interdisciplinary vision, I will continue um, to research the implementation of advanced technology in order to enhance the quality of life in interior spaces. And my goal is to continue producing original and creative work and creating platforms to distribute knowledge and promoting a dialogue between interior design, building science, and also advanced technology through my research. My portfolio demonstrates the 
continuity of uh, my collaboration with different experts from the you know vast domain of knowledge such as computer scientists the mechanical and electrical engineers and also material scientists you know these intellectual efforts provide opportunity for me and for sure for my students to develop the future of interior design field here at Gibbs College of Architecture. I'm excited to see those collaborations, both for our students and our faculty. That's going to be awesome. So what do you want alumni and future interior designers to take away from your work here at the University of Oklahoma? Uh, I try to develop some frameworks to utilize data-driven solution for interior design problems. In addition to that, I am keen to find that how we can use different technology for better understanding of occupants' needs, occupant preferences, and address, you know, uh, these needs and preferences in our design when it's possible. You know, by the way, in my point of view, interior design field should not be considered as a pure technology field, but technology can assist us to shed lights uh, on some, you know, hidden aspect of design, which can be revealed by advanced analytic methods. And I hope I can have some, you know, useful research outputs in the area, in this area and in this field that I mentioned before during my work at Gibbs College of Architecture for our alumni and future designers. Sure, sure, yeah. What are your five or ten year goals with your research and how do you imagine the discipline evolving? You know, I am passionate about establish interdisciplinary lab here at Gibbs College of Architecture. It consists of both undergraduate and graduate students. And my goal is to change current approach in interior design investigations by deploying new technology, advanced tools and software, and also different analytical uh, approaches and uh, also different design work flow to solve challenging problems in the field of interior design and uh, reaching to this goal needs a writing proposal and you know learning from established scholars collaborating with different uh, researchers from different university research institutes and for sure uh, work uh, working closely with uh, industry partners and more importantly training mentoring and working with fresh talented and skills interior design students who can change, you know, trend of design in our uh, future world. Thank you so much, Nagar. We're very excited for you to be joining the college this fall, and we can't wait to see your work on these issues grow. Thank you so much for your invitation, and I am happy that we had this opportunity to speak together. Yeah, same. Thank you for listening to the Gibbs Spotlight. Tune in next time to hear more stories from the Gibbs College of Architecture. 